Hi there, it's Commander Davis. Um, so today I'm in my ASP, we're uh, off to go pick up some um, power play cargo. And I thought it might be fun to recreate some of the 1984 game by docking using the controls I had access to back in the original Elite. Um, I know some people have complained that docking is a little too hard in this game. Uh, it's actually very, very easy with the uh, axis um, we have access to. The six degrees of freedom rather than the three that we had in the original game. So when I used to play on the BBC in 1984 I had a non-self-centering graphics paddle which had an X and Y axis and a single button. Um, used to handle uh, throttle of the keyboard. Can't actually remember what the uh, keyboard uh, bindings are for throttle. For Elite Dangerous so I'm going to use my um, hot ass throttle. Other than that, I am going to go through the uh, letterbox using pitch and roll and that's it. Should make life very difficult. I will do this exactly the same way as I used to in uh, 1984, which is badly. I do have the advantage of being able to see out the top of the ship. Now admittedly in the uh, original Elite we'll be doing this in a Cobra and the Asp is slightly larger. So he's still the same. What's really hard is uh, ignoring the muscle memory that's telling me that I should be using vertical thrusters and your at the moment to straighten myself up. How are we doing? Well that was scrappy. I think we can go in. There we go. Now I'll be able to get myself over the uh, docking pad. I don't think I'll be able to get myself low enough for the clamp stuff to pick up. <laughs> Makes you realise what a big difference having the uh, extra degrees of freedom makes. Do you have authorization to be inside the docking bay? Remember, loitering is a violation. Very scrappy. That should be okay. And we're down. So it is possible to recreate the full 1984 experience and dock using just roll and pitch. Um, wouldn't recommend it though, it's not exactly fun. Uh, anyway, cheers.